everyone. Welcome back to the life of Valerie Allison. So for today's video, I am going to be talking to you guys about the Level K Primer of the Good and the Beautiful. So to get started, my son is four. He'll be four and a half when we get started in this next month. And I um, had contacted the Good and the Beautiful to see if they could um, allow us to do a review on their level K primer curriculum and they were kind enough to send us the um, curriculum so that we could review it for you guys and so in this video I wanted to talk to you guys kind of why we selected this specific curriculum for our um, literacy portion of the curriculum that we're going to be doing this school year and then later maybe in the middle of the year school year will I'll be doing another video to kind of give you guys a review on how my son has been doing with the curriculum and what we've thought thus far of the curriculum itself. So let me just get started by saying the good and the beautiful has really taken off. They recently had a convention and it was very, very popular. So I was definitely intrigued and interested in finding out what is all of um, the good and the beautiful about. And I can see right off the bat why so many people are loving this curriculum. First of all, it has lots of beautiful colors in it just by page one. I'm going to show you what it looks like, what page one looks like. And I'll be doing just like a little flip through of some of the pages. Um, but you can see it. it's very colorful. And the other thing that I liked about it right off the bat is that it goes over the items that you need for each lesson. So at the top of the page, it tells you what you're gonna need. So like for lesson one, it says you're gonna need 12 dried beans. So the night before, you can get ready and kind of know what you're gonna need or if you are the type of person that likes to plan out your whole week, you can already be ready and know what you're gonna need. Um, they already tell you that in a little section of the book, which is awesome. The other thing that I like about this curriculum is that they, kind, they give you songs um, that go with this. So once you purchase the curriculum, they will send you a link for 20 different songs that go with the lessons in this. And then they also give you a My First Reading Book, which doesn't start until Lesson 21. Um, they go over a lot of phonemic awareness, um, just the initial things that a child is gonna need before they start the level K. So again, this is the level K primer. So my son was kind of in the middle between the preschool and the kindergarten when we, I did the assessment. Um, and they say basically that when you're doing the assessment, if they are, if they haven't done the level K primer and they are considered ready for the level K, that they still recommend for you to do the level K primer before you do the level K. So that's kind of where he was. When I did the assessment, he was ready for the level K, but I didn't really want to overwhelm him. So I figured we'll just start with the level K primer and take it easy and then we'll go ahead and do the level K. So this is supposed to be one lesson per day or you can do more depending on your child's attention span. It's considered that they would take between 20 to 30 minutes for each lesson, um, again dependent on your child and how long they can sit there for, but each lesson is about 20 to 30 minutes. And um, they get to also learn how to trace letters, they get to do some cutting. So there's a lot of diverse things that they will do with this program. The thing that I wanna point out about the good and the beautiful, actually the last thing, is that this is actually created by a team of creators. So it's not just one person that is, um, you know, that has homeschooled and just has homeschool experience. This is actually a team of people that came up with this curriculum and all of the curriculums that um, the Good and the Beautiful has to offer. So they offer um, reading or literacy, they offer um, math, they offer science, um, they offer unit studies, and they have an array and a, a selection of 
books that you can also purchase, um, just, you know, general reading, that they really wanted to get the good and the beautiful back into reading and just all their different curriculums that they have to offer, which I think is wonderful. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what there is involved in the good and the beautiful. So I hope that you found this video helpful. Um, again, just as an initial um, kind of take on why we chose the good and the beautiful. And I will let you guys know on how we like it in the middle of the school year once again. Um, so yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to like this video. And if you have any questions, definitely leave it in the comments down below. If you just want to stop by and say hi, I am always welcome to that as well. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I definitely update that a lot more than here. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!